Good thing I did that millennial pause because I was not recording. <laughs> I'm going to start off by apologizing. It's really hard to make eye contact with this lens, this tiny little lens down here when I got my big noggin there. Um, this camera, it just has it so off center and like away from the screen. So I apologize for not making eye contact. Not that I make a lot of eye contact in real life because I probably have some of the tism riz, but that's another story. Long time no see, seven months. Uh, some things have changed. Don't worry, I don't have cancer. It's just that uh, Tasmania and the mainland are no longer connected. I got a Bass Strait, and I thought, you know what? The best way to deal with that is zip, get rid of it. To make up for it, I'm growing a beard out. It's getting there. It's not too bad. You might notice all the greys. The reason for the greys are the same reason for no videos. That's right. I've got an 18-month-old daughter who's absolutely crazy. She's crazy like a daddy. <laughs> it's not, not great. <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's... um been very draining on me and my soul. You can see here all this mess. This mess is like each one of these boxes is like an army of horde people. There's like rat man, orcs, vampire counts. I'm slowly working on the Bretonia box which I'm making into like my wife's D&D character's army um, which they go in there. I've also got the 10 mils uh, which we'll talk about a bit later on. Uh, I've been building this because mental health is important and making my little dollies uh, gives me good mental health, I guess. It kind of makes me feel a bit less um, crazy. It, it's it's very meditative, you know? It's like uh, mindfulness. You're just taking yourself out of your thoughts and putting them in the moment. And that's why I hobby. Um, that and because I'm a gremlin who likes to collect stuff. Anyway, <laughs> here we are. I thought I'd do a quick channel update. Quick, you know, whatever. We've got Chief, have I got him in the camera there? Chief Security Officer, making sure everything is working out as it's meant to. Um, the other day I saw, you know, I've been watching, like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos and doing a lot of hobbies and I've been watching a lot of The Joy of Wargaming. Hi, if you're watching. Thank you very much for all your amazing content. Uh, if you haven't seen Joy of Wargaming, go and check him out. He's pretty good. I like his low-key but still crisp... Um, yeah, much more crisp than mine at the moment. Uh, <laughs> videos. Uh, and yeah, he's got a good sense of humor. He gets to the games. He, I like that there's, like, not a lot of fluff like me right now. Uh, he just gets to the point. Uh, and plays. And tells a cool story and also talks about the game and the strategy and what he's doing. So, uh, he, I asked him, like, what kind of, you know, what's, he, what's his setup like? Because I like making videos, but as you've seen, my scale creep kind of gets out of hand. Um, you know... We'll talk about that more in a second. But he showed us his setup in one of the recent videos. And I was like, you know what? Something that really inspired me. First of all, watching his videos inspires me to want to make videos. Because I like doing that. Um, but secondly, uh, his setup, he, the thing that really ticked the button for me was he was like, hey, I've got this gaming table that's like four foot by two foot. And I was like, I wonder how big my little setup that I've got here is. And I had a look. And it is actually a little bit larger. It's uh, five foot by two and a bit feet. Um, so that's crazy, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so I was like, wow, it's like r remarkably similar to what my setup is. And as you can see, like he was talking about, he has a little shelf with his light and I've got a shelf with my light. And I've got my, my lighting up there for my painting. And I've got like another light behind my noggin there and uh, puppets and all sorts of crazy stuff. But I was like, you know what? If he can make a video, I can make a video, damn it. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to make more videos because I haven't made a video for seven months. It's been a long time. Um, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I've been trying to learn some rules. It's more story time. Uh, when I was a uh, youngin in high school, I was like, hey, you know what? All my friends are playing 40k. Um, I keep getting cream with 40k because I play Tau. Uh, I would like to maybe try Fantasy because Fantasy is more up my stream. And um, so I went and I bought two boxes of Battle for Skull Pass. And I have all my goblins in my little gaming case, which I take from time to time to in-games. In-games Mosfell, if you have not been there, if you're in the Mittagong region, they they'll look after you. Cam will look after you, TJ. Top blokes, I highly recommend going there. Great community of great people. And I'm there from time to time, but not as much as I'd like to be. Um, but I've been taking that to, you know, taking my goblins to try and play Old World, things like that. Anyway... Uh, I said to my friends, hey, let's learn some Warhammers. 
War Hamsters, the fantasy one, and they all said, no, you're a loser. What are you playing fantasy for? The real men play 40k. Uh, we all know Space Marines are for losers, as my son says. So uh, I basically just had all this stuff that I never really got. I also bought a couple of books. I bought the Tomb Kings and the um, Wood Elves back then, when it was kind of like the end of 6th and the start of 7th, right? I don't know exactly when Skull Pass came out, but that's kind of the, the vibe of the time that I was there. Um, and so I have a whole bunch of dwarves, a whole bunch of goblins, and I was going to play that stuff, and then I never did. And I always regretted it, because I've always had that stuff and just never put it together. And then, the old world has returned, and that's very good for me, because that means now, guess who's got an army? It's me. The camera's down here, you moron. Anyway, um, so I've been doing that, and goblins are swingy as hell. I've had three games, because that's how few times I get out. Isn't that sad? Just pause for a moment, then shed a tear. Uh, you know, F in the comments to pay respects for Ray's deceased gaming time. Anyway, so I've been like, you know what? If I'm going to play games by myself anyway, why don't I learn the War Hamster? And so I've got the booklet. Uh, and I can also learn Old World, which I've got there, but it's a bit confusing and whatever. And you can see, I've also got a whole bunch of 10 mil stuff, which will be perfect for my tiny as heck board. Um, so that's the plan, it was I was going to do that. But then you know what, a problem has occurred, and that is that, um, it turns out, I'm not super keen on big armies, <laughs> so I don't really have the space for them. I'm working on some space for them. Uh, but yeah, I, I prefer skirmishes. So we're going to do some skirmishy stuff, I think. Um, and my brain, at the moment, is too frazzled to learn. And this is kind of the real problem. My brain is too messed up at the moment because I've got a crazy, crazy daughter and a son who's gorgeous and lovely, but oh my gosh, drains my soul uh, with, with his love of life. And um, so... <laughs> I can't learn these rules. My, my, they won't stay in my brain. I'm too exhausted. I'm too tired. Uh, and same for this, right? I cannot... I've got... I've got the books. Uh, you know? I've got my Skavens. Uh, I've recently got a Skaven army. i got... I've been playing Age of Sigma, which I also love. And of course, what happens when Raymond loves something? They... They, uh, they change the rules and make me buy everything again. So I've made a decision. I'm going to start collecting the third ed... Age of Sigma. I'm going to start collecting Six Ed Warhammer Army books. I have a whole bunch of them that I've got like from the cusp of back in the day, but also at like cons and stuff when you have like a buy swap sale. I've been slowly picking them up for like five, ten dollars, whatever. Uh, and I also collect eighth edition uh, Warhammer stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to start working on them, and one day my brain will be okay enough to play them. But in the meantime, I have to play some simpler games, unfortunately. That is how it is. Um, so, the plan is uh, going forth. I don't really know what we're going to do, but whatever it is, it's going to be simple. It's going to be easy, because I'm inspired. I want to make videos, right? Watch that Joy of Wargaming video. I want to make videos. I want to contribute to this community. Um, you know? And uh, it's not more, you know, not really about milk and all the Patreon stuff. So, if you were into all the Patreon stuff, which, let's be real, no one really was, right? Um, that's like all the stories and stuff that's no longer available. I've taken that down. If you do want to support stuff, uh, I've, I've, I've got two tiers where you can chuck some money and I'll, I'll make content and put it up there. I'm also going to make content and put it up there for free as I make content, but there's no promise that I'm going to make something every month or whatever anymore. That is gone. I do not have the time for that. Uh, over promised and under delivered. I apologize. Not that anyone, you know, was interested anyway. Uh, but the plan is make some content. Um, starting with this crappy video, where I'm rambling a lot, and, um, you know, have some games, film them, uh, set it up nicely, uh, and, yeah, we'll go, we will go from there, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try and do some solo role-playing as well, because that's very low maintenance, right, that's very easy to do. Um, and, you know, the 5150 stuff, I've kind of lost track of where I was up to. Also, I made a whole bunch of videos in the middle, so, like, all that stuff I'm gonna have to reset. I did film the big Imperial Guard battle, uh, but, it, like, man, it, I didn't edit it. I don't have the footage anymore. It was too big. I don't, I, I don't think I have it. If I find the footage, I'll edit it together. But, oh my gosh, yes, that was too big. <laughs> and that kind of is one of the reasons why I stopped making videos. Because I'm like, there's too much going on in this crappy video. <laughs> I can't, I can't deal with it. Anyway, so that's the plan. Channel update. Consider yourself 
updated. We're coming up on 10 minutes of me just rambling absolute garbage at you, so I'm going to stop talking. You have a great time. Ciao for now. I'm going to try and play some games at some point in the next week. Uh, we'll see. I've been sick. Who knows? I'm going to stop talking. Bye.